Okay, so I have finished setting up my Aqua One Horizon 130. Um, there's only a heater missing from there. Obviously, I'm not gonna put it in until um, everything's set up. Um, but as you can see, it all looks pretty damn good. Um, yes, the glass is greenish. There's a green tint to it. And that's because it's not Starfire or Low Iron or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just normal glass, but it looks pretty decent. Um, I would now just turn the holy crap. Sorry, that was really bright. Um, the lights on, yeah, so with the lights on it actually looks really nice um, Yeah, but so that's a aquarium itself. It looks really good If one just one if you can see that maybe maybe not that's just the aquarium logo now the cabinet though I do have a few things to say whoops sticker if I remove that uh, remove that later um, so it wasn't too hard to put together, there was just a few things. Firstly, as you can see, it's not perfect. There's a bit sticking out there, which is a bit annoying. Um, the, um, this back panel here, there's actually two panels. It's called M and O, I think, or N and O or something, in the um, instructions. Now be careful when you put them together, because they're linked by two little wooden pieces, which um, broke off the moment I tried to put them together yes pretty much um, I just tried to put it down on the ground and the two broke so um, those two pieces are, sorry the two backboards are actually connected um, at the moment so hopefully everything will be fine though because everything else is put together really nicely um, I did just realize that it's upside down but uh, whatever that's just a sticker so I could probably just remove it yeah so this so it's gone obviously um the instructions aren't very clear as to um what board goes where either um it, well i thought that was supposed to be down that's supposed to be up but obviously not or at least i didn't put the board in the correct direction um so that's a bit annoying so on a scale of one to ikea i would read this a uh, close enough but not really um, the worksmanship isn't as good as IKEA, um, ironically, because our, um, IKEA isn't that high up either. But um, yeah, so it's all right. It's decent. Um, you just need to pay attention to what you do. The instructions aren't too clear at first, but it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, I did put them together, and in the end, it's pretty stable. Like you know, it doesn't really move, so that's so good. Um, another thing that you have to pay attention to is. Um, when you actually screw everything together, especially the top board onto um, one, two, three, um, that's because this thing here um, and this thing here, those two are a bit loose when you first put it on. It can actually swivel around on this junction right here. So that's why you have to get it perfectly um, to get the. Um, to get the, I can't remember where it's now, the screw, to get the screw in perfectly. So um, you just have to tinker with it a little bit. Um, what I did was I lifted this up a little bit and this from the ground. And it's just so that the um, screw, when you put it down that way, it's that way, right there, around there, um, it actually matches with the little uh, dent that they put in the um, board. So um, yeah, it's not exactly, um, rocket science but it did take a bit of tinkering to um, get it all perfect but otherwise um, it's a nice tank for um, $380 roughly it's really good um, really really good actually because you do get a really nice LED light um, filter, a filter um, heater the heater which I haven't put it in and of course everything now with the filter specifically I actually have it taking anything out of it. It's just a very standard filter. There's some space for other stuff. Uh, okay, okay. Um, if you take this out, it's just two little slots, so you take it out. There's actually about that much space to um, put all stuff in. Like Marine Pure or um, Polyfilter, which is a lot better, I reckon. Um, but I'll leave this two in for now because um, once the water comes in and as you can see it's not um, I did accidentally leave some stuff in um, and there will be 
you know, stuff from the sand or live rock or whatever that will be coming out. So um, it's good to have a bit of a mechanical filter in there at the moment to um, just capture all of that. Um, obviously, once your water has been running for a while, well, once my tank has been running for a while anyways, um, I will replace that with something else. Again, like my pure or polyfilter or both. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the 